I'm Chelsea Markham from Hazel and Ruby, and I am here to show you how to create our stenciled cork coasters as part of our craft noon. So inside of your package, you're going to receive four coasters, as well as a paintbrush and paint. A couple other things that you'll need to create this project is some sort of painter's tape, something that will be easily removable, as well as Mod Podge or some other sort of decoupage glue. So to begin, you're going to take your stencil and carefully tape it onto your coaster. This is important because you don't want the design to shift as you're painting, and I, I'm always a fan of more rather than less, just to make sure that it will really stay in place. So once you have that all taped out, you can get your brush put some paint on it, and you want to lightly dab the area with the paint. If you pull it across, you have more of a likelihood of getting the paint underneath the stencil, and so dabbing it is the best way to go. You may be fine with one coat, but whenever I do these, I like to give it two coats just to make sure that it's going to be nicely covered. So once you have that completed, you're going to want to let it dry and then go over it again once it's completely dry with a layer of your Mod Podge. So in the end, you will have these adorable coasters. And with the Mod Podge on top, that'll make it safe to put your cold drinks on without it ruining the paint job. We also have an Aztec design and a couple of word bubbles. So you can then use these stencils on other projects such as a milk jug or other glass projects and they can be used over and over again um, for any of your future projects. Thank you for watching and please visit us at hazelandruby.com for more ideas.